Welcome to the Data360 Analyze Transform Node video. The Transform Node provides users with a wide range of filtering and transformation operations using Python script. You can complete many tasks using the Transform Node, such as select which input fields to output and or exclude, create new fields, convert data types, use if then or else statements, correct spelling mistakes, create calculations, and much more. In the Data360 Analyze Designer, I am firstly going to search for the Transform node and connect it to the dataset I would like to transform. The node is comprised of two main sections, the Configure Fields property and the Process Records property. Together, these properties define the way the node maps, filters, and transforms the input records to the node outputs. Both properties are populated with default scripting. The scripting in black will output all input fields and records. The scripting in brown is commented out and provides some great examples for other use cases. The configure fields property is used to configure the output metadata of a node, either as fields which are mapped from an input field or as new fields. This script is executed prior to reading any records and must define all of the output fields and their properties, i.e. the name and data type. Next, I'm going to show you examples of some of the things you can do within the configure fields property. The out1 plus equals in one script will output all input fields, but if you only want to output certain fields, we can remove the in1 and specify the field you want to output. To specify a field to output, I would delete the in1 script and select an input field from the hamburger menu. In this example, I'm going to select the color field. After running the node, I can see that only the color field has been output from the transform node. If the field name has a space, it will be referenced with square brackets and single quotations. In the next example, we have a field called ran that is currently a string data type, and I want to convert it to an integer data type. Firstly, we will exclude the ran field from the output by typing out1 minus equal, and then selecting the RAND field from the hamburger menu. Next, I will create a new field called RAND and assign it the integer data type. As this script only deals with output fields and it's executed prior to reading any records, the inputs and outputs references refer specifically to the input and output metadata. Now that we have configured the output fields, we will move on to the process records property. In the process records property, you will specify Python script to process the input records. This scripting is applied once to each input record, transforming the data, then outputting the record to the output pin. The input and output references in this property refer to the input and output records as opposed to the metadata in the configure fields property. Now that we have deleted the original RAND field and created a new RAND field with the data type integer, I'm going to write some scripting to convert each of the records to an integer data type. Firstly, I'm going to specify my RAN output field name and is going to equal the input RAN field converted to an integer. When we have a look at the RAN field in our output data, we can see that it has been converted to an integer data type. You can visit the Data360 Analyze help section for more information on the transform node and Python script. To directly access the help page of a node, you can click the hyperlink next to the type property in the Nodes Properties panel. To access the help pages, you can click on the eye icon in the top right hand corner, select one of these options and then navigate to the topic of your interest.